hi guys my name is Tefty and you're highly welcome to my youtube channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back to my channel and if you're new here you're most welcome please consider subscribing to join this growing family so in this video guys i'll be sharing with you how i made this under dress or inner for bubu kaftan or any dress at all so if you're interested please keep watching and also like this video as well so guys this is actually the fabric i'll be using in this project i'll be using this gold fabric to actually sew an inner for the white bubu dress that i posted on my youtube channel so please go check that video out as well and the gold fabric is about two yards see how beautiful and shiny it's looking and i also have other materials i'll be using i have my bias to bias the neckline and the armhole width and then the tape i'll be using my scissors the thread the ruler and then the chalk i'll be marking all the measurements with so let's get right into this video so guys i've actually gonna have to unfold my fabric the two yards of fabric into two i folded it into two as you can see and then i'll still fold again into two making it to be four pieces because i'm cutting the back and the front piece together so i'll go ahead and draw this straight line which is going to serve as my starting point and i'll go ahead and insert a measurement from shoulder line to her bust point which is 11 inches i'll just go ahead and draw a straight line from there from her shoulder to her bust point is 11 inches And I'll also be inserting the measurement from her shoulder to her waistline which is 16 inches. I'll go ahead and mark it and then draw a straight line from that point to this other side. And from her shoulder to her hip point is about 23 inches. I'll go ahead and mark the 23 inches and also draw a straight line from there. Or if I'm marking the hip point, you can actually take it from the shoulder to the hip point or from the waistline to the hip point, actually depending on your own preference. So I'll actually go ahead and mark a straight line from there and extend it to this other side. So guys, to be able to get the full length of this underdress, I will place my tape from that starting point and then take it all the way down. And the underdress is actually going to be shorter than the bubu kaftan and the length of the bubu kaftan i made was 52 inches and then for this underdress i'm actually using 49 inches plus one inch for folding allowance at the downside and then half an inch for sewing allowance at the shoulder line so i'll go ahead and mark 50.5 inches and then draw a straight line from there to this other side So I'll just go ahead and drag the fabric down to be able to insert other measurements at the upper side. So now I'll go ahead and insert her shoulder which is 15 inches divided by 2 is 7.5. Normally I would have added half an inch for sewing allowance but because I'll still be deducting later on and it's actually a sleeveless uh, dress I would be marking exactly 7.5 inches for now. So I'll go down by 1 inch for shoulder slope and then from there shoulder slope i'll actually be taking her armhole measurement which is seven and a half inches i'll mark it there which is going to serve as her chest line as well and then i'll just mark a straight line from them so the next thing is to be inserting her neckline and then the neckline i use for the bubu kaftan is not actually going to be the same thing with this one because this one is actually going to be deeper and wider so that it, it won't show from outside so guys the neck width of the bubu kaftan i made was 3.5 inches and then the depth was 4 inches so for this inner it's actually going to be deeper and wider so i'm using the width of about 4.5 inches and then i'm using the depth of about 5 inches so this way the inner won't be able to show from outside then i'll just go ahead and draw this curve connect the points together and then i'll be slanting the shoulder line with my ruler just the same way you see in this video so guys the next thing i'm actually going to do is to be dividing her armhole measurement by two which is seven and a half inches i'll fold my tape from there and then get the midpoint which is about 3.75 i'll mark it over there so the next thing is to divide her brush measurement by four her brush measurement divided by four is about nine inches because both the back and the front piece are folded into two so I'll mark the 9 inches there and then I'll still be adding extra 1 inch for sewing allowance. I'll 
add one inch for sewing allowance and still add one and a half inch for ease because this is actually going to be a free dress so add one and a half inch for ease you can make it two inches depending on your own preference okay so i'll just connect that from the chest line to the bust point and then i'll be inserting her waist measurement and her waist measurement is 31 divided by 4 is 7.75 i'll mark it there and then add one inch for sewing allowance and one and a half inch for ease and then next is to be inserting her hip measurement and the hip measurement i'm working with is 39 inches divided by 4 is 9.75 i'll go ahead and mark the 9.75 there and then add extra one inch for sewing allowance and then extra one and half inch for ease i'll mark it there and i'll go ahead and drag this material up to be able to insert the measurement for the hem of this dress and i'll still be inserting her hip measurement divided by four which is 9.75 i'll mark it there and then add one inch for sewing allowance and one and a half inch for ease and because it's at the hem of this dress i'm not using the one and a half inch i'll just use the remaining inches that are left there so i'll just connect it to a chalk from there to meet the measurement that i have for the hip line and i'll just drag the material down to be able to connect all the points together so i'll connect from the chest line to the bust point to the waistline and then the hip point and then i'll take it all the way down to the hem of the dress So guys, I'll actually be working back on the shoulder measurement. So I'll be deducting one and a half inch from the 7.5 inches that I had earlier. Because the inner is actually going to be sleeveless and I don't need my full shoulder measurement. So by the time I hold from the other side and from this side, it will even be more slimmer. Okay? So I'll just make a cut from the one and a half inch that I deducted. I'll make a cut from there to her chest line. Just the same way you see me doing in this video. So next thing is to be cutting from my neckline to shoulder line to armhole and then to the other part of the dress. So guys, I'm actually done cutting as you can see. See how the inner is actually following the shape of our body to the downside. So I've gone ahead to place the two pieces with the right sides facing each other as you can see in this video. So the next thing is to be showing the shoulder line. And then I'll be sewing about half an inch from both sides, both the left hand and the right hand side. So guys, I'm actually done doing that as you can see, see the sh both shoulders are joined together. So the next thing is to be biasing the neckline. And then I have this gold bias I'll be using to bias the neckline. I'll place it with the right side facing each other, open it or place it and then sew it around. And then turn it to the wrong side and still stitch it around. So guys, I'm actually done doing that. I'm done biasing the neck line round, as you can see. Next thing is to be biasing the armhole. I'll still place it to the right side facing each other, turn it around and still stitch it around. I still do the same thing to the other side as well. So guys, I'm actually done doing that. As you can see, I'm done turning both the left hand side of the armhole and then the right hand side. So you see how it's looking from the right side. And then from this other side as well, I've done the same thing. So guys, I had to complete this other side with a white bias because the gold bias I was having wasn't enough. So I had to use a white bias to complete that. So guys, the next thing I'm going to do is to be sewing the sides. And then I folded this into two like this. And then I'll be sewing the one inch that I left for sewing allowance. But before I do that, I'll actually be marking it with my tape to be sure of where I'm going to sew. So I'll mark one inch around from both sides, both the left hand side and the right hand side. And then I'll take it to my sewing machine to sew from the one inch. So guys, I'm actually done doing that. As you can see, I'm done sewing the side from the one inch from both the left hand side and the right hand side. So you now see how the both sides are looking. 
Next thing is to be folding the downside. I will go ahead and fold it by half an inch and still fold again by half an inch and then I will take it to my sewing machine to sew it round. So guys, I'm actually done hemming the downside and this is the outcome of the underdress. It's actually ready. So this is actually the final look of the underdress. So thank you so much guys for watching. Thank you. If you are still here, I really really appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to join this growing family. And like this video if you find it helpful. And also don't forget to share it to anybody you know it will be of help to. And don't forget to watch the Boohoo Kaftan tutorial video as well. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye.